Have you heard of the acromioclavicular ligament or the capsule of the shoulder? These are ligaments of the shoulder which I'm going to show you about today in our shoulder anatomy series. The reason for this is so you can better understand your shoulder so you can better understand how and why to rehab your shoulder when it hurts and why it hurts. Enjoy. Bash Gonzalez. I'm a chiropractic rehab guy in Huntington Beach, California at Performance Place Sports Care, which you can find right here. Got it? Okay, if you're looking for this graphic for your patients, uh, just go down here, p2sportscare.com slash shop, and you'll have an opportunity to get all these graphics electronically at no cost whatsoever. Just go onto that email. Okay, so we've done some other videos on shoulder anatomy, and we've already done the rotator cuff, which is right down here. We've already done the shoulder blade, which is right down here. Uh, shoulder blade muscles, anyways. We've already done. We've already done the cartilages of the shoulder. All right. Now we're going to go into the ligaments over here on the left side here. I won't spend too much time on this because ligaments of the shoulder people don't really want to know too much about, honestly. But you can see how many they are. Okay. They have complex names: the CCL, the CHL, the GHL, the THL. So basically, what you have to know about these ligaments is. They are kind of, ligaments, they hold bones together, okay? They also create little tunnels here. So this is the uh, coracoclavicular ligament right here. It forms the roof of what we call the subacromial space right here. Now, you might not care about the subacromial space, but until I tell you that majority of pinching pain in the shoulder occurs right here for various different reasons, um, it's because the bursa right here is uh, irritated or Things won't fit through this tunnel. Maybe the tunnel's too small. Maybe it's that the ligament or the uh, tendons are too large or uh, irritated. Maybe the bursa is too large. Maybe the humeral head is sliding up and not sliding down in movement. So the ligaments do have a function here. They do hold the complex together. They hold the bony architecture together. Okay. We've already learned that the muscles, the rotator cuff group. I guess I should circle the whole thing. The rotator cuff groups holds the ball and socket dynamically in place, okay? Some of these ligaments here of this capsule, these are the ligaments, okay? These hold things in place as if there was no bones or no muscles there. So when you look at the actual um, skeleton model, the reason why it's held together like that is because there's ligaments that are holding to things together passively. They don't really move. They're for that baseline stabilization. We're to learn that the cartilage deepens the socket 70% roughly with the glenoid labrum and it assists in really making it so we don't dislocate our shoulder, okay? So these ligaments do have a function here and a lot of times if we're not letting the other groups do their job, these things suffer in the long term. And uh, one that you're probably familiar with or at least one of the joints is the AC joint, which is right here, okay? So this joint a lot of times will get blamed for shoulder pain, but realistically it's part of that non-dynamic strut. It's that static strut system that we spoke about in the shoulder blade video, okay? The shoulder blade, this is a moving strut, okay? It allows the shoulder to do what it needs to do without falling off the body because it's only held on with one bony attachment and that's that clavicle right there, okay? The AC joint is the junction between it. So we need to make sure all these muscles are doing what they need to do and that means that they have proper nerve innervation, they have proper strength or and also that they have proper movement patterns, okay? So that's all I'll spend on time on that. Whatever you guys want to hear about next um, in the next series on shoulders, just let me know. Um, we're going to go into the bones really quickly on the next video. Um, but if you're looking for this poster for your patients, um, go on to here. Okay, I already mentioned that before. Um, you can create your own custom branding if you're looking for posters for your office or if you're looking for uh, vinyl prints. We've had people do uh, two by three foot vinyl prints. Uh, and take them to expos so patients can learn and just look and see what all their anatomy is all about because half the time they have to care about their, their injury and before they start to really absorb rehab and are open to uh, correction. So I hope this is helpful to you guys and I will speak to you guys tomorrow.